And now we see that the Arizona Supreme Court has taken its residents back 160 years. That was Nevada Attorney General Aaron Ford describing last week's landmark decision in Arizona. Ford spoke before Vice President Kamala Harris's visit, which largely focused on reproductive freedoms. What's happening in Arizona is not unique. It's happening all across the country. When this issue has been on the ballot, the voters voted in favor of freedoms. In red state and blue, making clear, by the way, this is not a partisan issue. Both Arizona and Nevada will decide on whether or not to codify abortion protections in their state constitution, something other states like Ohio have done since the Dobbs decision. Nevadans for Reproductive Freedom is spearheading the signature collection for the Nevada ballot initiative. So the Nevadans for Reproductive Freedom ballot initiative codifies access to abortion in the state constitution. So in Nevada, um, we will be affected by the abortion ban in Arizona, um, predominantly because we are a safe state that has abortion access currently statutorily protected. Um, and it's an important part of the role that Nevada plays in the broader national landscape. It's also part of the reason why it's so important that we continue to be vigilant about our access to abortion in the state and to double down on that and, and put those same protections that we have in the state constitution, making it even more difficult to overturn that right. Nonprofit Wild West Access Fund works with patients in and out of Nevada to help provide funding and services for those who are unable to afford care. We have patients coming in from states where abortion has been restricted, so they're traveling um, to Nevada. Uh, we do expect to see an influx of Arizona patients. We currently already see patients from northern Arizona um, because their law is more restrictive than ours currently, but now we do expect to see many more patients um, because the new law is much more restrictive than the current law. Lindsay Harmon said they currently have more than 140,000 signatures and are on pace to meet their goals by their June deadline. If Nevadans vote to pass this ballot with a simple majority this November, it will appear again on the 2026 ballot because a second passage is required to change the state constitution in Nevada. For News 3, I'm Ming Salau.